Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at our third Cauchy Euler equation. At this point, you know what to do. Take your three quantities here, plug it in, and you can very quickly get the auxiliary equation. So if we do that, your x squared y double prime term will give you m times m minus 1. Here we get a minus m. And then from your y term, we get plus 3. And again, as before, each of these contain a factor of x to the m, which we already knew to factor out to very quickly get to here. All right, we know what to do from here. Distribute. And it looks like we can combine like terms to get m squared minus 2m plus 3 equals 0. And that doesn't seem like it's going to factor. So I always tell my students, give yourself maybe 30 seconds to try to factor that. If you can't factor it in 30 seconds, just go right to the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and we have our coefficients. A is 1, B is negative 2, and C is 3. So we'll get negative B, which is 2, plus or minus B squared, 4, and then minus 4A, C. So we get square root of 4 minus 12, and that's all over 2A. Looks like we can simplify that inside there as 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 8 all over 2. We can split this up, write that as 2 plus or minus i square root of 8 over 2. And you've probably encountered square root of 8 a lot. You can rewrite that as square root of 4 times square root of 2, or 2 square root of 2, all over 2. And it looks like you can cancel out those factors of 2. And it looks like we'll get 1 plus or minus. The 2's cancel out, but you're left with i square root of 2. Now, like the case for complex characteristic roots to a second order ODE with constant coefficients, we identify the real imaginary parts, but we just give them different symbolic quantities now. We're going to call our real part alpha and the imaginary part beta. So alpha is 1, beta is square root of 2. As long as you know the form for your solution, in the case of complex auxiliary roots to the cauchy euler equation, you can get your solution very quickly here. You get a term, C1 times x to the alpha, so x to the 1. And then you get sine of beta times natural log of x, so square root of 2. times natural log of x. And you have a similar term here, but with cosine. So plus C2 x cosine of square root of 2 natural log of x. And that completes our solution here in the case where our auxiliary equation gave us complex values. Hope you enjoyed the video, short and to the point. Support the channel, like and subscribe.